Hey guys! One of the previous videos that I did just a couple of weeks ago, the one where I was at the sawmill for the last day before I winterized it, I talked about having problems with buildup on the blades from a larch tree. Lots of sap buildup on the blade and it was really frustrating. Now I would like to mention, I didn't mention it in the video, I did actually have diesel in the lubrication tank. It was probably a 50 50 ratio of diesel to water and I know that diesel and water separate but I do know that some diesel was coming through the mix and mixing with the water somehow because I could smell the diesel on the wood. Perhaps if I used just pure diesel it would have been better. There were suggestions from people on various different types of things to use in the lubrication tank itself. Diesel is one of them, but there's a few others. I would actually like to test a few of those, like between dish soap, someone said pine sol and, and something and dish soap maybe. But anyway, I would like to probably try those and do a little experiment in the spring or summer when I get the mill going. But this is just specific to the blade is off the mill. It's got a bunch of sap on it. And in the comments that I read, people suggested a few different things. So I wanted to try um, and do a little science experiment and see which one works the best. So we've got oven cleaner was one suggestion. Carb cleaner was another suggestion. And then like this is a thinner lacquer or um, what was it called? Like acetone, acetone. <laughs> I couldn't think of that. It's like nail polish remover. Acetone or a lacquer thinner. Now there was acetone in a separate container and then there's lacquer thinner in this container. Uh, I just got this one, not the acetone. I don't know if they're that different. That's just what I got. And then just for fun, I thought I would throw in a, a random one and this is just a heavy duty parts and tool cleaner. Although this isn't like a uh, super science project. Um, I thought I would keep the variables to a minimum. So I'm going to use the same cleaning materials. I'm going to try each one of these three things. I just have a plastic brush, a oh, cloth, and a non-scoring scrub pad. And apply the, the products in the same way, leave them on in the for the same amount of time, and, and see what works. Maybe they all work about the same, or maybe there's one that is much better than the other. So I thought it would just be a good idea to, to test it for everyone. Experiment complete. Probably my favorite was the oven cleaner. Um, number one, number two, parts cleaner, carb cleaner, number three, <laughs> and last would be the lacquer oven cleaner nicely coated the blades and I can picture myself spraying all the blades at once by the time you're done spraying your last blade and you wait maybe five minutes and you go back to the first blade I feel like you just go around and wipe it wipe and it's kind of like efficient that way there's definitely less elbow grease in this product like it just really lifted the stuff off you didn't have to scrub or wipe much at all also didn't have much of an odor, easy to apply. Yeah, I just really liked it. It kind of sits on its own because it was different than the other three in that this this worked only, this worked probably better the longer it sits on because that's what the instructions are if you were to clean your oven. So then my second favorite was the parts cleaner. Also really easy to apply, like the nozzle, spray nozzle was really good. It smells like oranges, which is pleasant if you're doing it inside. This, the carb cleaner and the lacquer or thinner, don't work by leaving it on the blade for any period of time. They only worked if you apply it to the blade and wipe right away. This smelt the best. This would be my second choice. Third choice would be the carb cleaner over the lacquer. You know, these two are the, the last ones, but this is easier to apply, right? It's the same thing. It's like a spray nozzle. You can spray and then wipe. Um, this just smells. So that's why that gets number three. And this gets last place. There's a smell to it. Um, you have to apply it to a cloth. 
use the cloth to wipe. So it just wasn't as user friendly. But in all honesty, if you had any one of these things kicking around, they, they would work. I think, yeah, like I said, my preference is the oven cleaner. Now that I have all of these four things that I went out and purchased specifically to test for this video, um, I'm gonna stick with the oven cleaner. As I was editing the video last night, I realized I didn't really talk about the tools that I used, the, the brush versus the cloth versus the scrub pad. For what it's worth, and you want my opinion, I honestly don't think it really matters. I think use whatever you have, anything will work really. I think that the benefit though to using a brush over using a, a pad or a cloth is that you can really get into the teeth of the blade and into the gullet and you're not worrying about things snagging or you're not worrying about getting your fingers too close to the teeth and then cutting yourself. And as long as you're using the oven cleaner for this brush, I think everything comes off really easily. For the other three products where you had to put a little bit more effort into, you maybe would need to use some sort of wire brush or a, li a little bit more of a stiff, stiffer bristle brush. But that's really it. I think just use whatever you have. For those of you that have a bandsaw mill, bandsaw blades to clean, or anything else that might just have sap buildup on it, I hope this information was helpful for you. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I am off to go clean my oven now. <laughs> Bye guys.